sort of a fast forward view, if you will, at the last 135 pass launches. And we're going to do it in 135 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have lift off. Space Lab 2, shuttle has cleared the power. Roll program initiated. It's in control we know. Roger, Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Liftoff of Columbia and the first dedicated medical research flight. Six-man crew on the Department of Defense flight. On to 20th, 25 recognition orbit. Atlantic speed now 500 miles an hour. Maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Heading engines at 100 percent. Well, the vehicle's rate of speed will virtually triple. Flight controllers standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. For three main engines, second stage. Columbia Houston performance nominal. down position on course. Space Shuttle Columbia with the Microgravity Science Laboratory. Start at about 1G vertical acceleration. All systems on board are continuing to perform well. Good solid rocket booster separation. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the international space station. Liftoff of Discovery. America will continue the dream. Amazing. Just amazing to see. I mean, the, you, you basically have a crew of humans that are strapped to something that's like a giant bomb. Yeah, they're true heroes. Really, it is like, that's a great analogy. It I was really watching a Brooke Baldwin out there yesterday, and she said she went to space camp growing up. Heck Can yeah, you imagine she did. that? Heck oh, yeah. yeah, she did. It, it's, of course she did. It, it was, uh, that, that's Brooke. Brooke is the most, one of the most adventurous people I, I know. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's an amazing thing to see. And, and, you know, we all grew up with this. So many of us did. This yeah. was the thing. But as incredible and as dramatic as the liftoff is, in some respects, I, I have to think, you know, I think many people might agree. Landing is even more impressive. I was speaking with mm -hmm. Tanisha uh, Bell. She's our, our executive producer about this yesterday. When one of these things go, lands, when it goes back into the stratosphere, it's doing at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. It is a glide ratio of 9 to 1, which basically means it's like a rock with wings. And when it lands, when it comes in, it has one chance because it's not powered. It can't, you know, go past the, the three-mile strip of, of pavement where it's going to land in Florida. It has one opportunity. Wait a minute. You know glide ratio. Did you go to space camp? No, I did not. But I wish I had. <laughs> I feel like I've missed out you somewhere in my life. You could still do it. You could still do it. I uh, got to do it. Got to <laughs> right. try. Thanks, Reynolds. You bet. Appreciate it. Up